Do you know where your chicken, beef, and pork come from? In Southeast Asia, Thailand, Malaysia, and Indonesia have significant livestock industries. In landscare Singapore, almost all of its meat is imported. As food is readily available around the clock, most residents are unfamiliar with where their supplies come from. 17,000 kilometers away, Brazil is one of Singapore's biggest sources of chicken, beef, and pork. Rearing livestock is an intensive business. It requires expertise, investments, manpower, and of course, land. Lots and lots of land. For example, the largest cattle ranch in America is more than double the size of Singapore. Meat farming is an inefficient way to produce protein. Livestock uses 80% of the world's arable land while producing only 20% of our caloric needs. But demand is rising with effluence. The world currently consumes 350 million tons of meat a year, a figure that will increase 63% by 2050. Pork is the most consumed meat in the world, followed by poultry and beef. In the 1970s, Farming was one of Singapore's biggest industries, with 9% of the population involved in agriculture. At its peak, there were 10,000 farms housing more than 715,000 pigs. As a young country, you remember the times when we have kampongs and we have pig farms and also vegetable farms. So those are in the 50s and 60s. But as we develop as a country, of course, being a very small country, land was you know, a very scarce resource. As Singapore became more urbanized and with technology driving the economy, the country's last pig farms saw their death knell in 1989. The COVID-19 pandemic revealed Singapore's dependence on food imports and there are ideas to look beyond the island's shores for possible solutions. In Singapore, we have 63 islands. It's to look at some of these islands, and can we convert some of these islands into special production areas? Lab-grown meat and plant-based proteins are other options. From cell-based shrimp dumplings to jackfruit meat, novel foods could become serious contenders to fortify the island nation's future food supply. The novel food technologies. And this refers to things like insects, cellular meat, plant-based protein, and also looking at underutilized plants to convert them into food items. If you go to a supermarket, we have less than 100 plant species that you can find in any supermarket. Whereas we know that in nature, there are more than thousands that are edible. Part of the novel food technology is the search, identify, classify them, make sure they are safe. Asia is fast developing into a hub for alternative proteins, with Singapore leading the way. Here, food tech startups are looking to produce the next big breakthrough. In December 2020, Singapore became the first country in the world to approve the sale of lab-grown meat. But will a nation of foodies stomach the alternatives? It's still a, a question mark, really. Because in Singapore, in Asia as a whole, food is such a personal thing to most of us. Yeah, that we want to know what we're eating and to be, be comfortable with eating. Now, I'm not saying that there's no future for them. To me, the question is still an open-ended one. As people start taking more action to combat climate change, unsustainable food production practices will be heavily scrutinized. It is time to rethink what is consumed and embrace a whole new world of foods.